So it's morning. We're just leaving Bigig Bigiga Bigiga camp. We're into Bar we're heading to Barry Yellug camp. Um, over Mount Rosier today. Weather was looking really good at sunrise. It's clouded over a bit, but the mountain still looks um, clear. So let's hope it's clear when we get up there. Uh, I don't know if I said it's about 14 k. So we're away bright and early today. It's about nine-ish. We should get there, I'm guessing, around three. Let's see how we go. Anyway, catch you later. So we're just heading up Mount Rosier now. The track kind of sidles around around the back of it, and then we'll go up. I don't know if you can see through the trees. There's a sloping a kind of sloping spur, and that'll get us up on the escarpment. The old track used to go through the cliffs at the front years ago. It's a bit grey and overcast and one-dimensional today. It's still pretty nice though. So we're on our way up Mount Rosia. Just starting to get some views over the Victoria Valley, which is sweet as. There's enough changing light to make it interesting. We've got a school group coming up behind us, if you can hear all the voices. So that's the noise. They're nice kids. So we're almost up on the crest now. I reckon Jay's about to hit it in a couple of minutes. So yeah, we're up on the ridge now, just kind of scrambling through the rocks. As we head to the high point, we're doing this for another hour or two. So we're still making our way up Mount Rosier. Been down on hands and knees a few times so far. Getting through these rocks, which is a joy. So we're at the gate of the east wind. I think those hills over there might be Redman Bluff on the left, in the, just in the cloud. It's tomorrow's walk. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to get around the corner up Mount Rosie and have a better look. It's like Belfield down there. That's Sundial Peak. walking but I've been up here a few times uh, probably quite a few times more often than not I'm socked in clouds so, and rain so this is pretty good today so this is the gate of the east wind and it is a long way down what are the odds of me getting through here Without taking my pack off. I have no way. Ooh. No. No, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna damage my pack. So we've made it to Mount Rosier, there's a couple of school groups. There. Side the tree, that's Mount William. That's the next one tomorrow, the next day. The next pointy one is Redmond Bluff with the seven dials in front of it in this direction. That's um, tomorrow's walk. That's like Belfield down there. There's gentleman freezing this down there because it's bloody cold. And that's the um, Victoria Range and Victoria Valley across over there. And that is the Sarah Range along there. We can't really see much of it. So we've left the crowds up on Mount Rosier and we're heading for the staircase off the side, off the edge. It's very nice walking. So we've broken the back of today's walk really. We've climbed up. We've just got to go down now and across the valley. Be an early day with any luck. We're getting a little bit more efficient. Joe's dragging me through. My memory, I'm pretty sure it's 
1.9 from up there. Was it? Okay. So we've done, but we've done the slower. So. Yeah, we've done the hard part, yeah, that's for sure. I don't know if I've mentioned it today, but she's cold. It's, um, I'm guessing it was probably four or five degrees up there. And there's a southwesterly wind coming in, so it's, it's adding a bit of wind chill. We're below the crest a bit now, so we've dropped out of the wind. It's still bloody cold. So we're about to start our staircase from hell. It's actually an amazing bit of engineering what they've done here. To drop down through the cliff line. Now, a bit of wet rock. I might actually well, I'll get down this one probably. I'll put the camera away there for a while. Okay, so we've made it down off the ridge line. Good news is I've got a shadow because it was bloody cold up there. Uh, now it's time to get rid of a few layers, I think. So now we're dropping down towards Burrow Huts, where we cross the Grampians Peaks, or the Grampians Tourist Road. And then we're not far from camp. Woohoo, and dinner, and a nice warm sleeping bag. It's the simple things in life at this stage. Yeah, my pack squeaking. Lovely. So this descent's been um, easier than I remember. The bit at the top, I remember it being more cliffy other, on other trips, but yeah, it's been a while since I've been here. Obviously, it's the same, it was the same route. There's a few steps. This bit down to Barra Hearts now is quite easy and quick walking once you're down through the cliffs. I think you guys are going to have to share my squeaky pack with me now. I've got some silicon in the car, but it's going to be a while before I get to the car to fix it. It's meant to rain tomorrow or the next day, so maybe that might fix it a bit. We'll see how we go. This is the first um, real section of it. Like, I don't know if it's kangaroo grass. It's a little bit like it. That we've had probably f guess 15 minutes in Bar Huts now. Time for afternoon smoke here when we get there, that's for sure. It's been a pretty cruisy day. The climb up Mount Rosia was pretty good, and the walk down was um, easier than I remember actually. How nice is this? Here's the campground through the trees. Not our campground, but Borough Huts. It's 25 degrees warmer. I wouldn't be out of that. So we made it down to the Borough Huts camping area for afternoon smoke. I've only got about half an hour to go from here. This is one of those um, big Grampians car camping areas. But the tables are handy and they've got a bench. So life's pretty good. Life's really good. Sun's out. I've got the shirt drying, sitting here with my thermals. Okay, so we're just on the short link track out to um, Barry Yellig camping area. Up Lake Belfield. Through the trees down to our left. Down there, can't, oh, you might see it. Got an old water flu, a water race type thing from the old mining days. We're gonna cross past here in a minute. Just to our right. Country's all of a sudden looking a lot more arid. It's almost like I'm back in the Flinders Ranges. Mm 
<clears throat> so um this is actually a day late i forgot to do a video when we got in last night we got in fairly late um, we're at barry yellig camp now um we walked over from Bagija, Bagija yesterday Joe seems to have the pronunciations down really well, but I'm still struggling. It was about 14.7 k's yesterday. It was a pretty easy walker walk yesterday. It was, but mind you, you've got to climb over Mount Rosier, so if the weather's a bit crappy, it'd be ordinary. Yesterday, we were lucky. Um, campsites at big at Barry Yellow are, are a mixture of um, platforms and, and sandy pads, so... Uh, you got a bit of choice. I put the triplex up on a platform last night, again, which was good. And the other thing you need to know here, there's no shelter. So it's, um, I'll probably put it on the next video when I do the first video, the first official video for today. Anyway, all good. I don't know what day we're up to. About day six, maybe, five. Yeah, today was day six. Yeah, all right, catch you later.